A major bombshell in the Patrick Kane investigation. The prosecutor breaks his silence and accuses the victim's mother of creating a hoax. Good morning. I'm Mary Porter for you. And I'm Roseanne Teus. CBS 2's Brad Edwards joins us live from Buffalo, and he has the latest. Brad, good morning. Yeah, good morning to you, Roseanne and Harry. Now, keep in mind, this press conference just wrapped up a few minutes ago, and this would be bombshell if we could qualify it as that, which we certainly can. This would be bombshell 3.0. This is the third day. The question in the past couple days was raised by one bag, and it was an evidence bag. And the question was, is does that bag raise the specter? Does it raise the question of potential evidence tampering? Did it also include, did that bag contain the rape kit in the Kane inquiry? Simply said, the prosecuting attorney here, the district attorney in Buffalo, New York, said any rape kits in this county, Erie County, New York, are contained in a box not a bag. Therefore, this bag was nothing more than a ruse perpetrated by the mother of the accuser. Let's take a listen. Let's talk about some facts. Evidence is usually placed in one of three kinds of containers. Cans, usually done in arson cases, bags, or boxes. A rape kit is a box. This is a rape kit. It is a box. As you can plainly see, it is not a bag. That the district attorney here in Erie County, New York, he would be the man ultimately charged with potentially deciding whether or not to prosecute any case versus Patrick Kane. Now, the question was raised, considering this was now, according to all involved, whether it be the victim's attorney, or whether it be the accuser's attorney, rather, now former attorney, Patrick Kane's attorney, or now the district attorney, since this was a ruse, could the accuser's mother now potentially face charges? The answer. We believe that a person, the complainant's mother, is engaged in an elaborate hoax. Generally speaking, uh, the sins of the mother and father are not usually, um, uh, usually transferable to the daughter or the son. However, if the investigation further reveals that the complainant was somehow involved in this, uh, knew about this, then that could be very relevant. The question in my mind is not when this case will go to a grand jury. The question in my mind is if this case will go to a grand jury. And let that be the bombshell of the day. In a case like this, which we were speculating, which others have speculated, whether it be through sources or simple fact, is was the prosecutor, the district attorney, whom you just heard from, would he present all the evidence to a group of 12 individuals here in New York and say, should or should not Patrick Kane be charged with any crime? Now, he has raised the specter that it may not even get to that point. He may decide simply, and this is the first time we're hearing from him, that it is not credible enough to even be presented to a grand jury. Harry, you said bombshell in the open. This is our third day in Buffalo, New York. This would be bombshell 3.0. We are live this afternoon here in Buffalo. Brad Edwards, CBS 2 News. Harry and Roseanne. It's, it's hard to believe that attorney yes. would present that as authentic and then this have, you know, this come out. All right, Brad, thank you very much.